Hey guys, it's Umbellas. Welcome back to another Pinterest bulb. Now, I found this monstrosity. You know, this thing right over here. I mean, it's approximately like nine rooms. And you know, of course, I'm gonna be turning this weird building into a maybe eight room apartment. And we're gonna see how many sims we can actually fit into this as soon as it's done. So let's try and work on the basic structure first. So we're gonna need a room where everybody can go into and by that i mean like this is where you pay your bowls and you know all those things like it's a little i don't know what they called it like a community area or no not, not an area but a community room or i really can't remember what the term was for that and on this side we have a smaller room that's quite square okay so maybe we're gonna try and keep it as square as possible so i already have the two rooms at the bottom okay but this one is going up to two rooms approximately i think and then we have one over here that is over here but it goes over like that obviously we're gonna bring it out a little bit on the sides just for some overhang all right and then over here we have some kind of platform let's see we're gonna draw a platform on top of this and then on top of this one we have a small room okay so that small it's a little bit bigger than that let's say like this and then on this side we have the stairs leading up to the building that's on this side but i'm not sure if we're actually gonna get it right to do that i mean if we use a platform and we raise up this platform and we build a room on top of this it's gonna sink through the platform so it's not really gonna raise it so we're just gonna have to work with how we can in the sims 4 so over here we have a very small ish room okay it's not that big it has a lot of space around it too so let's say this size and then again Again, we have another platform up here going a little bit deeper there's a lot of platforms in this build actually which i actually like because the platforms kind of help you to differentiate between all of the apartments so up here will be our last oh my god we can't we can't oh my god we have reached our limit so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of the double floor down here and make this you know like just higher you know all right i'm gonna have to rebuild this to make it work out god damn all right so this is basically very much the same to what we see in the image so for that one at the top over there i'm only gonna add a roof sculpture you know because i'm not gonna actually be able to draw another room up here you see it's it's kind of limiting my ass over here so on the top of this i'm gonna add one of those roof sculptures you know you know something like this and maybe make it a little bit bigger this can be like a little storage room up here i mean i know we're not gonna be able to build inside it, but i mean the idea is still there that it's maybe a storage room of some sort okay no i think i'm gonna go with that one it doesn't need to be you know exactly the same because at the end of the day we're not gonna be able to make it exactly the same but i think that should work for now okay okay and for the rest of the roofing in general i mean this one over here has a wooden trim so what we're gonna do there is just give it a brown trim but the roof color i think i might go with this maybe all right so i'm not gonna utilize this little room on this side i am gonna turn it into a little platform that's raised because that roof is actually beneath our second floor so i want to raise it to about here and maybe if i can add the roof on here oh my god where did i put the roof where is it over here it is as you can see my little plan didn't work so i decided to use an awning instead okay yeah that roof is not gonna work on that side so i think i'm gonna keep the walls high we do need a little platform over here though but you know the only thing i know is that this building style is extremely wonky but what scares me the most is how we're gonna incorporate the staircases so i think it's very important that we do that first you know instead of staircases i think we're gonna have to make little bridges i mean i think that is the best option but you know we can always test and see what the staircases will do i just wish it could go up from you know like this up to this one over here you know if you can do something like that have a staircase go up from here to here and maybe just for more zigzag effect we can have a staircase coming up from down here to up there okay it's a little bit more zigzaggy now so you can get into this building by going into the door which will be over down here okay so there's a door there's a door okay then you can get into there by that door you can get to this apartment with 
this staircase but this platform we're just gonna expand a little bit all right so there's more walking space so you can get there with this staircase and then how do you get to this one there will be a staircase inside of this building going up to that one so you see we can still have the zigzag style i'm obviously gonna change the staircase type i'm not gonna stick to this staircase this is a very small apartment by the way then you go up this staircase to get to this apartment and up this staircase to get to this apartment how do you get to this apartment i'm gonna make a little bridge effect i think it's the easiest way to go now so we have a little bridge over there going up from this one over to this one over here over here someone can even also sleep you know it's good to know that we can get to every apartment i think i'm gonna incorporate these staircases at the back as well but i first want to change up the style of the staircases like in the image we have lovely wooden brown staircases so let's go ahead and quickly replace those okay so you see now i decided to twist the staircase down here so we have more of a zigzaggy effect like in the image yeah i think that is absolutely perfect and now i really want to go into the colors of every apartment okay I think I have it you know with the colors and everything but before I continue I would like to ask stinky Kyle Carlson over here to just quickly test our floors over here so can he go over there okay up he goes and then can he get to here and to there yeah okay so it is completely functional and this guy just doesn't want to stop dancing that's just hilarious okay now I'm gonna focus on general detailing before we go into the furnishing part and the windowing as i like to call it and i think i'm also gonna move this up weird apartment to a smaller lot so you don't need to feel obligated to only place it on a biggish lot but i think you can still place it on any lot size as long as you're on a lot with a sim or a family and you go to where you saved it and then you can just place it down as it is on any lot size okay so these staircases over here i promise they do have have barricades but for some reason you can't see them like they disappear for some reason but just know it is basically uh barricaded but yeah i think it does seem better to just put up fencing in general otherwise it looks like the sims are gonna fall to their death dancing yeah stinky kyle carlson i'm looking at you specifically at you and i mean it also looks good with the fences in my opinion okay so i decided to move our boat to a smaller lot because you know i'm not gonna utilize that whole big lot that we had before you know i'm thinking of using some of these items from a few kits you know just for some clutter and randomness so yeah but yeah so before i move into the interior just quickly gonna finish up adding all of the plants like the planters and the pots and everything and then i'm gonna do something small and subtle for the ground floor basically like a little fence maybe a tiny public pool at the back i don't know but we'll see okay editor bella back here well i mean what else are you gonna call me by by now i mean bella bella's I don't know <laughs> but yeah okay so over here we're just quickly doing a little bit of a speed run of where i spent literally two freaking hours doing everything that you're seeing right now like adding planters changing up a few things and adding more fences doing something crazy to the backyard well it's not crazy but it's something nice i suppose <laughs> but you'll see by the time i talk about it but anyway so i decided to do some sort of barricading thing you know there's like this item that looks like barricades but you actually put it against your wall as you normally do but i decided to put it against the windows as you can see over there i know it's kind of fast and everything but god i can't even keep up myself but anyway so yeah i don't normally do this you know like a speed build with a voiceover but i just really felt like babbling the crap out of this video today you know like just chip in and talk and i don't know <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of plants and stuff that went into this bolt, like furniture, a lot of shit. But anyway, but this bolt in total actually took me three hours to finish. Yeah, it's actually not that much. 
and I mean that basically tells you that I could have done more but I was so exhausted and you know living in South Africa it's bad because you sit with load shedding so what's load shedding to the people who does not know it's basically power outages that you get in south africa like don't move to south africa because you're gonna sit with load shedding so at the worst you can have it go off the power now like four hours a day and on average it goes off like two hours but three times in the day so i cannot remember how my schedule was when i was building this build like i had to split it into three separate videos otherwise i wouldn't be able to actually um well finish it in a way so i had to split it up because i also had other things that i had to do like i had to go to work so i decided to make it a one part two part three part and just splice them all together to create whatever you're seeing right now <laughs> but yeah yeah I, I, I was actually thinking about adding solar panels but yeah i just decided it might be a little bit too rich for the type of apartment that i'm going with so as you can see i decided to do some clothes lines at the back i think it looks pretty nice it kind of suits the vibe of the place as well and a little monkey bars jungle gym over there for in case some of the inhabitants have kids and as you noticed i'm not really good at doing voiceovers without really editing too much of my voice out because i'm so used to just editing out all of my faults you know like the faults in my context or in the words that i use but yeah bleh. anyway so over here i was just you know placing some placeholders you know those mailboxes are from snowy escape so and they were the only mailbox boxes that you could place inside of a building so i decided to put them over there just as placeholders because when we have for rent i'm gonna place down the actual mailboxes that comes with the pack so i can only do that when the pack is out so i mean or you can do it i don't know if i'm gonna come back to this build actually to do that so if you want to download this build you can download it and you can maybe just add them yourself as soon as you have the pack as well you know but yeah so adding a lot of greenery adding a lot of lights i love the fact that that light at the top over there is like attached from the one apartment to the other like oh my god i love that detail so much and they actually have it in the image as well so how could i not add that you know how could i not make that work but anyway this speed run is almost finished so i'm just gonna go over to wherever i left off in my actual recording i just decided to jump in you know talk a little bit to you guys about what's happening over here and everything i decided on not talking while doing all of this because i knew that if i added any words and stuff <laughs> like that happens then it would have been too long for me to edit so i mean like today even i am time limited like i do not have a lot of time to edit but anyway i'm just gonna go over to the part where i continue babbling in the actual recording okay so i added some foliage and stuff on the outside over here we have a little area where people can throw away their dirt and their trash and everything and this is basically the little pathway to get up the stairs and at the back here we have some clotheslines i decided on not doing a pool because that is just too freaking common by now and i don't think a pool will actually suit this setting but here is a little jungle gym monkey bars for kids to play on and yeah just general foliage and um tiny bits of detail but yeah i'm gonna add some more objects over here that the sims can use and on the outside of the other people's balconies as well so i already furnished this little apartment over here so this is how i'm gonna keep it so as soon as you move a sim into this apartment you can decide on how you want to decorate it if you want to recolor it or whatever but this is just basically the basics <laughs> of what your sim needs so you can decide on whether you want to change up something or replace something Thing, it's all up to you okay sorry guys i think this will really be the last time that i'm gonna interrupt this video okay so i just want to let you know if you do decide on replacing anything in any of these apartments just know that the bathrooms are all extremely 
well, not extremely, but they're, <laughs> they're functional. Let's just say they're extremely functional, I suppose. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I player tested each and every bathroom. Like, the bathrooms specifically, like, they work perfectly as they are. So, if you do change up some of the things in the bathrooms, I would actually just suggest adding things instead of moving things or replacing them. Because you might have some trouble to get them back to that level where they're actually still functional while keeping the small and compact bathroom. Bathroom. Unless you're a very skilled builder, do not move anything in the bathrooms, please. You're gonna struggle your ass off. But okay, you don't need to be a skilled builder, but you know what I mean. So now I'm gonna go ahead and change and do the same to each and every apartment. And I have counted. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apartments in this build. So, it's, so seven families can live in this apartment, which is super cool. But all right, so I'm gonna go over to these apartments now. And like I said, with only the basics. Okay, so we have a little problem over here. So we're gonna have to place a little platform over here so that our subs can actually step down from the doorway over there i think to do yellow for the inside of this house is actually pretty nice so i'm actually gonna keep the inside yellow as well i'm gonna close up this wall at the bottom here just so that other inhabitants can see that this is actually a doorway to an apartment so the people that's gonna live in the yellow apartment up here is gonna have the liberty to lock this door you know for privacy reasons but yeah some of these apartments are very small so you're gonna really have to use your brains in order to actually furnish these houses and like i said i'm only sticking to the basics as soon as you move your sims inside you can choose what you want to add in terms of what your sims are interested in okay we're just gonna have stinky kyle carlson over here to quickly go and test the functionality of these little bathrooms that i'm busy with okay so he's going in for a shower beautiful he's going in to wash his hands and can he take a pee good okay good i'm I'm trying to stick to these four tile bathrooms for each and every apartment because they're nice and small. Okay, it's good to see that he could have gone into that door down there. Can he take a piss? No, you cannot take a piss. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so this way works better when the sink is next to the shower. Okay, and he can pee. I did taste that. Okay, good. Okay, Kyle, go into the cold. Go into the cold. Thank you. Alright, so we do have a little small compact bathroom that is fully functional and that makes me very happy. And we do have the smallest kitchen ever, but I mean, it's fine. If they need to wash dishes, they can just do that in the bathroom, you know? It's like we usually do it. So yeah, as you saw in this apartment over here, we do do not really have rooms for our bedrooms and all those things you can really you can close up this wall if you want to but it's gonna leave you very little walking space so using an open bachelor floor plan for all of these apartments is the easiest way to go so we can place down one bed over here okay that's gonna block them from coming inside believe it or not but Carl Carlson can actually use this corner counter over here to actually prepare food so that makes me very happy at least we have some counter space on which we can prepare food I totally forgot that you can actually use the corner counter like that makes me so happy all right so now we can actually start adding some genuinely nice furniture pieces for this apartment they can also have a flower arrangement table you know maybe arrange some flowers that this could be their way of making their money and everything what you can do is you can have a community garden you know a garden that everybody is allowed to use so all of those people or sims that are into gardening but they don't have planters of their own they can always go down here and utilize these planters down here like i think that's cool we can have a few more over here on this side as well like anybody is allowed to use those planters but for the sims living in this little apartment down down here the other yellow apartment they can also have a planter a setting place maybe i don't know but whoever lives down here can decorate their own places their own little spots okay i'm just figuring out the floor plan for all of these houses so i think the yellow one is good i mean we have some entertainment outside the house but on the inside it's fully functional you know the apartment that i'm the most afraid of is this small one up here like i have no idea what i'm gonna do in terms of floor plans up here i mean we can maybe we have just a spot for a toilet and the rest i really don't know i will brainstorm on that a little bit later but yeah that one scares me the absolute most because it's the smallest and i am not good at building in small spaces but you know this is my chance to test my abilities and my skills and whatnot 
<laughs> so you maybe noticed that I added these little things against the windows down here. Like I am kind of using them, you know, to act as balustrades or like burglar bars, you know, just so that it kind of feels more safe to live down here. I think this one is one of the biggest apartments we have, this blue one. And the rest is all nightmare fuel because they're small and hard to work with. So look at this apartment for example now. So this apartment over here is actually gonna have two bedrooms, one for a child, one for, well, preferably one single sim, you know, a parent sim or something or an older sister or brother, I don't know, because a double bed is not really gonna fit into to this room okay let's just quickly have stinky cal calson again to just test out our pee pee and shower and hand washy area there we go thank you cal okay so we're gonna have one chair over here i'm just gonna try and use base game as much as possible also or some of the kits I like using some of the kits. All right, let's just maybe rotate this one a little bit on a diagonal. Put a little TV on there. Okay, this is a bit too big. I do not like a big coffee table. Can have a little pot here or a big pot over here for some decoration. But okay, what really makes me happy is knowing that we have all of the basics in this apartment. We can squeeze in a little bookshelf over there. I mean, is that too squeezed? Can we move the door a teensy bit? Yeah, sure. Okay. So for this apartment up here, I'm not that sure what I'm gonna do with it. So as you can see, I already have two bunk beds over here because I really want to utilize the bunk beds somehow and somewhere in this whole boat because I really love the idea of bunk beds. So we can maybe have siblings living over here, you know, young siblings because they have to be able to climb these little stairs to get to the top bunk. So they need to be agile and full of energy, you know? And this platform situation is really working on my nerves but i mean we have to put it in because our houses are standing on platforms so these sims living here might be the artists of the whole duplex or whatever we're gonna call this i think we're only gonna call this you know like apartments this is not a duplex because duplexes are like houses that are like dead smack right next to each other like they're attached to each other so i don't think we can call these duplexes but what excites me is the fact that we can actually have seven sims living here and that's a lot the other thing i kind of forgot in each and every apartment is a little bin but you know that's not the end of the world we can always always squeeze them in somewhere like that one can go over there down here we can have one around the corner <laughs> yeah this apartment is a little bit of a headache okay so we do have bins in each and every apartment so just to figure out the rest of this apartment i think i'm also just gonna change up the color of the walls i'm not gonna stick to the purple okay at least you can sit here and everything that's good okay i don't think i have a choice here but i think i need to ask him to just test this bed okay so he can go up okay carl just don't go to sleep not in the boxers please uh, that's someone else's bed oh my god too late oh <gasps> He fell down and right into the chair over there. It's not my fault, you're kind of stupid. It's just good to have some player testing while you're building apartments like this because you never know where something is going to be functional or not and functionality is very important. So we can only have one little platform over here. We don't need to have one big platform. So Sims can still just climb down from here. Over here we can have our four tile bathroom. It's just seriously, this apartment over here is nightmare fuel <laughs> but it's supposed to be a very small apartment up there so i'm not gonna change the size in any way Ah, uh, that scares me okay bathroom door maybe this time in a different swatch maybe a white door this time everybody has brown doors for their bathrooms okay so this is very nice to know so kyle can actually lay down you know and lounge on the bed over here and watch tv so that's a good thing in terms of some entertainment in this little apartment okay now to my worst nightmare ever Ooh, i must say the people up here with this little apartment really has a very fancy front door and yeah we're gonna keep it that way because it's just adorable like a lot of people actually has fancy front doors over there is a fancy door and down there's a fancy door like not everybody has these plain boring doors okay so this person living here can be maybe an extreme introvert someone who does not want to really communicate with any people this person can maybe be a werewolf for all you know very quiet loves to live in solitude i don't know but 
The main thing I am concerned about is what can actually fit into this apartment. Like, I don't think there's gonna be anything really to fit in here. But okay, this is where we test our abilities at best, right? I don't think I really had a choice here, but I had to add a little extra room for maybe the toilet, you know? Because this person really needs their privacy as well. Okay, so I decided to place down a little fridge a mini fridge underneath this bed over here we have our little shower and toilet on the outside i'm gonna add a sink now you will see that this house does not have any kitchen that's because on the outside this is where you're gonna make your food if you live in this very small apartment but yeah like i said this apartment can seriously be for someone who's very solitary someone that doesn't like to go outside someone who doesn't like sharing their stuff i really am happy that this is functional underneath this bed maybe because i put it on a diagonal there's a little lounging chair in here that you can lounge on some random junk here by the entrance and yeah like i think this is everything that our sims need to live you know like we have a fridge we have a toilet we have a shower we have a bed and now i'm gonna put in the sink so which sink shall we use though it must look like an outdoor sink you know something like this but yeah let's put it on this side because i think they just prefer to use everything over here at the back where nobody can really see them you know it's kind of hidden away okay so all of the apartments are officially completely functional so yeah Cal is using the toilet over there just quickly gonna test the shower great stuff okay so let's take a very very quick tour through our apartments okay going down to floor one so this is like I showed you in the beginning this is where you pay your bills and everything everybody is allowed in this room over here we have our very first apartment i don't like the grids on well back here is a place where you can hang up your clothes and do some laundry in general and whatnot over here we have the second little apartment this can be thrown away i will do that in a minute anyway here's a little apartment and over here we have the biggest apartment with two bedrooms maybe for siblings i don't know a mother with a single child or a father and over here we have a little apartment that's actually very fit for siblings you know maybe two brothers a brother and a sister doesn't matter and over here we have a very light and cute apartment for a single sim while well, most of these apartments are meant for single sims and up here we have an apartment for i don't know maybe some elder of some sort i don't know it just gives me elder vibes and over here we have the biggest bathroom by the way and over here we have the solitary hidden away little apartment but okay i know it's snowing and everything but it's okay but anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching i will see you all in the next one